This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, we jump into part two of my favorite things online for filmmakers. The show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques go to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and if you missed last week's episode, I gave five of my favorite things filmmakers can find online to help them learn and advance their careers with a focus on pre-production, development, and the industry. This week, we move into gear tutorial type thingies, both in production and post-production, and this time, we're doubling up, baby. That's right. This time, we have ten for you, because that's how we roll. <laughs> Number one. First up on my list, we have TomGilmet.com, run, of course, by my friend Tom Gilmet. Tom is a great guy, and as his site says, he is a Boston-based sports and television camera operator and DP. He has a ridiculous amount of experience and knowledge, so when he breaks down a piece of gear, it is always super insightful. One thing Tom is really great for is high-speed slow motion. He's done a lot of work with Phantom cameras and has a review uh, and total explanation of how to use the new FastTech TS3 camera, and this video is a great example of why I love Tom's site so much. When he shows off a camera, he completely teaches how to use it. It's like a really short masterclass on that camera. So after you watch one of his videos, you could literally just go pick up that camera and start shooting with it as if you've used it before. So jump over to Tom's site here and get your learn on. Similar to Tom, we have philipbloom.net. Philip is really great for camera reviews. One of the more recent and extremely thorough reviews that he did was a look at the Blackmagic Cinema camera. It's about like 40 minutes long on just that camera and it is a complete must watch for anyone who is thinking about purchasing one. But just about any camera that you'd be interested in getting for professional work, Philip has probably had his hands on and did a review for. Not to mention, he has an incredible eye, so a lot of his vignettes are really inspiring. But even beyond those, the site is packed full of really useful info for filmmakers with an emphasis on cameras. Still continuing down the path, oh camera and gear aficionados, we have blog.vincentlaforet.com. Vincent Laforet is the man behind great canon short films like Revere, Nocturne, and his latest Mobius, which was not only really a really great test for the C300, it was just a great sci-fi short film on its own right. Vincent's blog is similar to Phillips in that they both do gear review, but Vincent leans more towards the narrative side of filmmaking, so they both have a very different viewpoint, which is great. You can also click here on educational resources and choose from a number of options like tutorial and tips. Here you'll find a ridiculous amount of helpful tutorials and breakdowns like his talk on lenses with Blake Whitman, camera tutorials, or even a few VFX and software tutorials, which you can find all this right here. Number four, hurlbutvisuals.com forward slash blog. This is Shane Hurlbut's site, which Shane was the cinematographer on films like The Greatest Game Ever Played, We Are Marshall, Semi-Pro, Terminator, Salvation, Act of Valor, and the coming Deadfall, which I'm very excited for. As far as cinematography goes, Shane's site is my go-to place. Unlike most cinematographers working in the industry, Shane is more than happy to share his knowledge and techniques. My favorite posts of his are the ones where he shows a scene he shot and then breaks down what he did and why and also, more importantly, how. This is coming from a working professional. He also has a lot of test videos where he'll show the effect of different lenses, filters, or lights. Moving on to post tutorials, we have Red Giant TV. They have tons of great tutorials for visual effects and for their products, but they go beyond their own products and teach things involving Mocha, After Effects, and so on. Plus, along with Seth Worley, they've had some really impressive short films, which they attach great tutorials and behind the scenes videos to show how they did it. So, whether you use their products or not, this is a really great resource, but if you do use their stuff, this is a must. Similar to the type of things you'll see at Red Giant, but from the godfather of After Effects, Andrew Kramer, and that site is videocopilot.net. I talk about this site all the time on our show, and for good reason. If you are wanting to learn After Effects, this really is the best place to go. Andrew has great tutorials there, which has every Everything from After Effects 101 for people just getting started to the more advanced stuff. Another reason Video Copilot is such a great filmmaker resource is their products. Stuff that I use on the show all the time, like Optical Flares, Element, Action Essentials, and so on, all of which are extremely well priced and high quality, which are two very important things an uber low budget filmmaker needs to go together. But now, before I get to my final four, let's sponsor it up a bit. So if you're thinking to yourself, I need a website, whether it's just to show off your sexiness, 
or for business, Domain.com is the best place to go for that great site you're wanting to make. Domain.com makes it easy to set up your domain name and get your website up and running. You can blog, create a website, showcase your portfolio, make that money, son. Get a new email address using your domain, which is always nice, so it's not like me at yahoo.com, you know what I'm saying? It sounds a little more professional when you have your website there, people take you more seriously. And the guys at domain.com will hook you up 15% off when you get your domain name and web hosting when you use a coupon code FilmRiot when you're checking out at domain.com. So don't forget, use a coupon code FilmRiot when you're checking out when you think domain names, think domain.com. Logo. Number seven, sticking to the land of VFX tutorials, another great resource can be found at aetutsplus.com. This site is absolutely riddled with amazing tutorials of all flavors. Now, some of the tutorials are premium members, which means that you have to be a member, which costs about 19 bucks a month or 15 a month if you're on their yearly plan, but they have a ton of free tutorials as well. And just like the video co-pilot site, if you use After Effects, this should absolutely be a must and bookmarked for you to visit frequently. Now moving away from tutorial, we have Filmmaker IQ. Filmmaker IQ is an everything site. They are constantly posting great resources from around the web, which makes them a great place to go to get a collection of the best stuff from multiple sites. For instance, come over here to the categories tab, select something like camera and grip, and you'll find tons of articles that link to insanely helpful resources on that subject, which is the best thing about this site. It's very much directed towards the indie filmmaker and collects great stuff around the web for you to learn from. So whatever aspect of filmmaking you find most interesting, this site will have something for you. Number nine. Next up and keeping in line with that sort of everything site like Filmmaker IQ is, we have nofilmschool.com. This is a great blog run by an independent filmmaker who's currently working on his own film. So all the things he posts here are always interesting and very good for the DIY low budget filmmaker. No real tutorials, but more news and info that cover all things film. So definitely a good one to check out on a regular basis. My final online resource and my freaking favorite is FX PhD. This site is absolutely amazing. Run by industry professionals that are currently in the business and are amazing at what they do. Now this is a tutorial site, but I think more appropriately put, it's a freaking online VFX school. They have courses constantly starting up and have instructors that teach you VFX from the ground up. They have different training on different software and different avenues of post-production, even beyond VFX actually, into editing and audio work. And they also have production stuff, but that isn't their main focus. Now the downside here is the price. Their courses, while actually really cheap for what you're getting, don't make my wallet happy, just a lot lighter, as the courses can easily jump over $300. But if you're really serious about getting into post-production and you aren't going to film school, you might wanna give it a look. But even beyond that, if you don't wanna pay money, they have tons of really great free tutorials and a fantastic podcast that all upcoming uh, FX people should be subscribed to. So there you go, my top 10 production to post-production resources on the web, and with last week, that makes 15 in total of my favorite spots on the internets for you to check out. If I, if you think I missed anything, you could always jump over to my Twitter and tweet it to me here. Actually, what would be more helpful to everyone is post it in the comments below so everybody else can find it as well. Yes, I like that one better. But that's it. I'll see you guys next week when a girl pulls me out of her dreams and into reality to try to kill me.